Hi, we're Sit Kitty Sit. Today we're going to play When I Get to Heaven. This story has kind of an interesting background. When we were still in San Francisco, we performed at or rehearsed at Lennon Music Studios um, in Soma. And um, one of the people who shared our original studio space, Stephen Rothenberg, actually passed away from skin cancer. His brother, David, after the fact, decided he wanted to hand Stephen's library out and have a bunch of different San Francisco bands perform his pieces. Sadly, that long-term plan never panned out, but that's where When I Get to Heaven came from. We were one of the first bands selected, and I got a Dropbox account of all of Stephen's rec home recordings. This song, you could tell, was it was not a complete thing. It was a rough recording of an idea. Um, As he was dying. And... Yeah, it really just like, it it really struck me because he knew he was dying. Mm -hmm. He knew he wasn't going to make it. And the premise of the song is that when he gets to heaven, he's bringing a gun with him because he's so mad at God that he's going to murder God <laughs> when he gets there. And it was just so striking to me. Um, I ended up leaving the words exactly the way they were. I did change the melody and the structure of the song um, a lot. Like I said, it was the recording, the original recording was a, a very obviously a work in progress. Um, but yeah, every single one of Stephen's words are exactly as they were. And when we were recording our album, Everlasting Fire, um, one of the, um, you know, Seven Deadly Sins is anger. But what, what that meant back in the day wasn't anger like, oh, I'm so mad at you. It meant um, vigilanteism, like taking the law into your own hands. That's what they meant. And when we were writing that album, I was like, you know what? Nothing I could ever write would be more angry than this song that was written by a dying man who knew he was dying. And so we put When I Get to Heaven in the Spot of Anger on Everlasting Fire. Mm -hmm. So here is to Stephen. Here is to his brothers David and Fred who have supported us the entire way. Um, thank you to you guys, and please enjoy When I Get to Heaven.